This was the height of France's largest glacier in the year 1820. In two centuries, the Mer de Glace has melted by 160 metres in height. Visitors now have to scale a steep ladder to even get close. In the 90s, the ladder was about 20 metres long, and today we've extended it to 100 metres. This illustrates how fast the glaciers are melting. Disappearing glaciers have become a symbol of global warming. But scientists are also now worried about a much less visible threat, the warming up of the permafrost, frozen ground and ice which glues rock together like cement. As it's heating up, huge chunks of the mountains are becoming dislodged. A rock slide took place here at the end of 2005. 265,000 cubic meters of rock were destabilized. For scale, that's about five times the volume of the Arc de Triomphe. That's the grey scar you can see up there, 700 meters long. Summer months, when alpine temperatures are warmest, are becoming more and more deadly for hikers. Since the 90s, this phenomenon has sped up. Between 2007 and 2015, here in the Mont Blanc range, there have been 550 rock slides. The danger posed by the rock falls is clear. In this video showing a collapse of 3,700 meters in altitude. But this warming up of the permafrost isn't just causing problems up in the mountain summits. It's now potentially risking lives down in the valleys and the villages as well. In August 2017, a rock slide sent 4 million cubic tons of mud and debris hurtling towards the village of Bondo in the Swiss Alps. Eight people were killed. We see this type of chain reaction happening. The damage to the permafrost at high altitudes can provoke movement in ice and glaciers, which can then turn into a huge flow and lead to a large-scale landslide, which can have an effect very far down in a valley. Permafrost is warming up around the world, in large stretches of Siberia, Greenland and Canada. This frozen ground makes up 20% of the world's land service, and its deterioration seems irreversible.